This is video number two of the aggregate demand and aggregate supply series. Uh, this series uh, corresponds to unit 2.2 of the IB economics uh, syllabus and this is video number two where I'll talk about shifts in the aggregate demand that are caused by changes in consumption spending. Uh, the next three videos will talk about the shifts in aggregate demand caused by the other components of aggregate demand. So the learning outcome for this video is to explain how the aggregate demand curve can be shifted by changes in consumption due to factors that include changes in consumer confidence, interest rates, wealth, personal income taxes and hence disposable income and the level of household indebtedness. We're looking at the determinants of aggregate demand or the causes of shifts in the AD curve. So let's get on with it. So, what are the things that lead to shifts in the aggregate demand curve that are caused by changes in consumption? Let's first do a quick review of what consumption, or C, is. It's the total spending by consumers or the household sector on domestic goods and services. This includes spending on durable goods that are used over a period of time and non-durable goods that are used up immediately or over a short period of time. When the aggregate um, demand, uh, sorry, when aggregate demand increases, the AD curve will shift to the right. So here, when AD increases, it shifts to the right in that direction. And when aggregate demand decreases, it shifts. The aggregate demand curve will shift to the left. Remember, aggregate demand is a relationship between the average price level on the y-axis and real GDP or real output on the x-axis. The first factor that causes changes in C, in consumption spending, which will then shift the aggregate demand curve, is changes in consumer confidence. When consumer confidence is high, okay, this happens usually during booms and periods of time where the economy is doing well. When consumers are pretty confident, their consumption spending will increase. Therefore, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. AD will increase. However, when consumer confidence is low, which is often the case during recessions, consumption spending will fall and therefore aggregate demand will decrease and will shift to the left. That's the first factor. The second factor is changes in interest rates. When interest rates fall, households tend to save less and borrow more because the interest rate is basically the cost of borrowing. So, um, and it's also the return for saving. So when interest rates are low, households don't really have much of an incentive to save and they're encouraged to go out there and borrow more money. Therefore, consumption spending increases and aggregate demand increases and the curve shifts to the right. Uh, to the right. Now, um, the opposite is true. When interest rates rise, households tend to save more and they tend to borrow less. Therefore, consumption spending decreases and aggregate demand decreases and the curve shifts to the left. The third factor that causes changes in consumption spending and hence shifts the aggregate demand curve is changes in wealth. When household wealth increases, maybe because um, property prices are rising and there are a lot of homeowners or maybe there's been a cut in inheritance taxes, when households are wealthier, um, their consumption spending tends to increase and therefore aggregate demand increases and the curve shifts to the right. When household wealth decreases, on the other hand, uh, maybe the falling property prices or rising inheritance taxes, consumption spending tends to fall and aggregate demand decreases and the curve shifts to the left. Uh, another factor that will cause uh, changes in consumption spending and therefore changes in aggregate demand are any changes in personal income taxes. Because um, when personal income taxes change, people's disposable income will change as well. So disposable income is the income left after taxes have been deducted. This is basically your actual take-home pay. Now, when personal income taxes fall, households will have more disposable income. Therefore, naturally, consumption spending will increase and aggregate demand will increase. The curve will shift to the right. The opposite is true. When personal income taxes increase, households will have less disposable income. Therefore, less money to spend, consumption spending falls and aggregate demand decreases and the curve shifts to the left. 
The last factor is changes in the level of household indebtedness. The more debt households have, say for example credit card debt or mortgages or car loans, student loans, the more debt they have, the less income they have to spend. Therefore, consumption spending decreases and aggregate demand decreases. The curve shifts to the left. Um, this is in an example of, of what happened during the global financial crisis in 2008 and 2009. Households indebtedness, the level of indebtedness of households rose um, dramatically and this this is essentially one of the factors that led to uh, this sudden drop in economic activity and this um, this recession. Uh, the opposite is true. The less debt households have, the more income they have to spend and therefore their consumption spending rises and aggregate demand increases and the curve shifts to the right. So these have been all the factors that cause changes in consumption spending which then cause a shift in aggregate demand.